so she said that I have a black mark, but I don't. My mark was red. And even though I checked, something was wrong. I'll go back inside. Sorry, it's a... this just doesn't feel right. I still I stay close by, so I can hear the ambulance coming. Okay. No, don't. There's no point. I have to have a look around. Okay, I'll be back. I can't just wait here forever, you know. I need to warn you about something. Don't worry, I already know about the monster in there. It, this is a different kind of monster. Avoid anyone you see with the white mark. Why? What's so special about the white marks? They will do everything they can to keep you from waking up. If you see someone with a white mark, you must do your best to escape before they say anything to you. Don't fall for any of their tricks. I keep that in mind. Thanks, Izzy. Don't thank me. With time, I hope you, you'll come to forgive me. Let's save in the third one. She said to avoid the white mark. Let's check out the red one. Read. Patient, prima donna, age 28. Pro fighter. Repeated long term head trauma resulting in cerebrovascular. Okay. Very poor prognosis, complete recovery unlikely. Pain medication strongly recommended. Wait, whoa, holy shit, this is a lot of people, wait, hang on, are, are these really people? I can't tell if they are some kind of illusion or if they are just ignoring me, they don't seem to be reacting to me at all. Well, where there's smoke there's fire, something must be going on last year. Turn around and walk away, glasses. Shit, I was really hoping that security guard was one of them. 
No one goes in. She doesn't take visitors. If I want in there, I better think fast. Oh well, I really need to see her. You know how many times you think I've heard that line. I'm not paparazzi. And neither are any of these upstanding citizens. Yeah, right. This isn't going anywhere. I can't do this. Why am I supposed to keep calm and come up with an excuse with this jerk in my face? I just don't have the patience for shit like this. Wait, was the same blue? How do I check time though? I don't know if the ambulance is... I'll go with blue blue it's nice and calm right or something this elevator has been moving for a long time is it just me or something moving out there please let there not be more of those monsters do they ever end well there's no way around it time to go water a colorless, transparent, odor odorless, tasteless liquid that falls out of the rain. Farms that seize and drown, being careful. Whoa. What the heck is this? Water? Why is there water? It's so cold. Cold! Cold! Elevator buttons aren't working. I have no choice. I've got to find a way out! Those in battles are experiencing some and suddenly will stress you out, reducing your state of mind. Your state of mind influences how much time you start with in duels. As your state of mind worsens, you will start future duel with significantly less time on the clock. Resting in a bed or spending time doing something calm will improve your state of mind. Please do not let your state of mind get too low. Where am I now? I'm alive? You dead? I coughing up water? That's right. The floor flooded. Oh man, I'm soaked. Who's this girl? How is she alive in here? Did she save me? Don't panic. It's okay, you're okay. Wait. On the back of her hand. What is that? It's a blue tattoo, exactly like the black one I have on my hand. This girl, she must be a blue mark, whatever that means. Not dead, I think. Oh good, um, I'm glad you're not dead. So, am I a stranger? So am I... Did you save me? Oh well, I mean... I heard you strangling and I couldn't leave you out there. And you where you were in breathing? I just thought rescue breathing might help. Thanks, I was really in trouble. Of course, I will never just abandon someone to die. 
I don't know what to say now. A quiet girl, not volunteering any more information either. Do you mind the question? No, go ahead. I'm not sure how helpful will be though. I was wondering, where are you from? You Mandarin is so good. My Mandarin? What the heck is this girl talking about? We're both English. We're speaking English. Obviously, maybe maybe she's not all there. I'm sorry, I don't get it. Mandarin? I don't speak Mandarin. Never spoken anything but English my whole life. But wait. What? But you're speaking it right now, though. That makes absolutely zero sense. There's a lot that I'm not sure about. But I can definitely tell you that I'm speaking English. And so are you. I believe you. It's just well, never mind, I guess. She doesn't really seem to be crazy. Hmm. Maybe it's something to do with this world we are in. It's just a guess. I have no proof, but I think somehow this world has the power to make us understand each other. Even though you're speaking English and I'm speaking Mandarin. I get it. Maybe it's kinda like the water. She goes silent again, not offering any further explanation of her statement. I think I'll have to steer the conversation myself at this rate. Well, actually, I was wondering, what's your name? Oh no, I'm sorry. How could I forget to tell you the only thing I remember? It's... it's Quentin. It's Quentin a guy name? It's certainly not Chinese, but it's... It would be rude to say anything. Nobody gets to choose their name. It's not her fault after all. Anyway. Nice to meet you, Quentin. My name is Leroy. So what do you mean, like the water? How to put this? Uh, well, the water isn't totally real. What are you saying? It's not real. I almost drowned it. Drowned it a few sec, a few minutes ago. If you don't know what that's not real, then you could probably drown. Yeah. But for some reason, if you just think really hard and stay calm. You can breathe in the water. You just got to remember, you're not really drowning. I know that probably that doesn't make any sense, but I've done it a few times. Wait. So all you have to do is believe in your mind and that you can breathe underwater and suddenly you can? This is insane, there's no way. Forgive me if that that's a little hard to believe, I know. But this place isn't normal. I mean, we are talking right now after all. She's right. I'm not sure. I get what, but maybe this world is influenced by our per per perception? Quentin must be braver than I thought. So I think she's gone back out there. Somehow breathing underwater through her force. Or will is definitely inspiring. True. Anyway, so what are you doing here? If I if you can't drown outside, why haven't you left? I can't get out. Why not? Look at the little fish. <laughs> Actually, since you probably don't know, there'll be an ambulance outside at the top of every hour. Supposedly, if we get on it, we can leave. Okay, well, maybe that's not exactly what Ixi told me, but I don't see why Quentin wouldn't be able to just get on the ambulance with us. Are that he has some kind of magic force field or something? Or maybe this place has some way of stopping people who haven't passed their test from getting to the ambulance? Really? An ambulance? Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it's true, but we should try. If you're really telling the truth, and we don't drown, that's it. I'm telling you the truth, come with me. Does this thing lit outside? Yes. It's what we came through to get here. Sorry, it's so tight in here. I think it was meant for one person. We're pretty far down in here, so we need to move slowly 
and be mindful of air water pressure. What for? I figure you want out of here as soon as possible. Well, if the pressure around us changes too quickly, we might get the compression sickness. Maybe you heard of it, the vents. Yeah. Wait, is that why we are in a pressure chamber? You know what this is? Mostly. Or is MNT apparently? I don't remember everything, but it seems like I still know a bit. Oh well, yeah. This is a chamber that controls both water and air pressure. It's necessary since we are so far down. How far down are we? Actually, come to think of it. I don't really have a gauge for that. For what that would count as far down. But what happened to the music? Hmm. Well, an average recreational scuba driver achieves depth of 40 meters. The current war record for a depth achieved and survived by a human is 300 meters, about 1k feet. This is commonly used for scuba diving, became too dangerous to use about 2000 meters under the surface. All gases become too toxic and debris at 3000 meters. All the gases become lethal to the human body at 4k. By my estimate, based on the species of aquatic life I saw outside the school, it's currently at 1k. She said school. Wow. You seem to know your stuff too. Well, yeah, I guess. It's pretty cool. For a girl in mortal danger, Quentin sure is calm. I can't help but hand here. But sometimes she's just said it's bothering me. You said that this skull is sinking. I'm pretty sure we're in an hospital. Oh, uh, no. I thought it looked like a skull. It was kinda hard to see near the elevator, but I was in a hospital for sure, right? Well, maybe it doesn't really matter. Let's just get moving. So anyway, here we go. Alpha me is worried that you can't actually breathe the water, but she's in here too. There's no way she'd be bluffing at this point. Remember that you can breathe. You can breathe lower. I wish I could be relaxed as Quentin looks with water rising my snack oh I can't do this I can't the water is so cold it's like my lungs are frozen solid of course this was a crazy idea why did I agree to this don't hold your breath Leroy just spray it see wow Quentin is totally fine okay maybe this is um, impossible wait how can I even hear her voice underwater no point in trying to figure out that one out. Just breathe, Larry. Alright. Alright. I think I'm okay. You did it then. Now, if we wait like this for a little while, we can go. Sorry for the random question. But why did we have to go slowly again? I mean, if the water is imaginary, isn't the pressure imaginary too? Well, once you get used to breathing water, it never gets any harder to keep breathing. Because this place is sinking, the pressure will get worse. The fact that the pressure is imaginary is the only reason we are alive right now. But even imaginary pressure can build up and become impossible to bear. The pressure not the only thing, actually. The only thing? What do you mean? Uh, never mind. I'm starting to notice a, I notice a part, a pattern where Quentin just stops talking right before sharing crucial information. I'll admit that being shy can be endearing, but it's not the time. 
Come on. What's up? You maybe see anything weird on your way here. Yeah, unfortunately. I kept having no I kept having to deal with these freaking monsters. So did you see them? What should we do if we run into more? I guess we don't really get to choice. 